Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca Kaur and in this video, I'm gonna take you guys on my Notion tour which is going to be very minimalistic and to the point. I have not created pages which I'm never gonna use because then they state that and they take up space and they make you feel like that you're not being productive. All the pages that I've created will be actively used and also it's a work in progress. I might add new pages in the future because I feel like that I need to. And at this point, I feel like I'm probably the last one to create a Notion tour because most of the creators have already done that. So let's not waste the time anymore and get started with it. So my Notion setup is called Life Hub, where all the pages that I use exist. And the first section of the page is called Life. I'm gonna skip the goals page because it's a little bit personal to me, but I have created a copy of it and I will show you guys how it works at the end of this video. This page is called Scribbles. Since I'm a writer and there are some thoughts and poetries and lines that keep coming up in my head randomly, I have created a page for it so that whenever something comes up in my mind, I don't forget it and I can just type it out. And I decided to give this page a cute paperclip emoji because I didn't want to distract my mind with all the hyperactive images on this page since it's related to work. And the third page in the live section is called Things About Me. Now this page is dedicated to things which I like, I dislike, I believe in, I don't believe in. Because I feel like that we remember these things about the people we love in our life, but we never do it for ourselves. That we are focusing on ourselves and creating a list or a data in our head that these are the things that we believe in and these are the things that we like or dislike. So this page signifies self-love. I highly recommend doing it for yourself because it makes you really self-aware about the things that you are interested or disinterested in. The second section on my Notion page is called Work, which has only one page for now at least, and it's called YouTube Video Ideas. So ideas come out of nowhere and whenever they do, you have to make sure that you make notes of them because if you don't, then you will not be able to remember them when you actually need them. So I have this page on my Notion so that whenever an idea comes in my head, I can just make a quick note of it. And also I love this cover. I got this from Pinterest and I love this little quote which is kind of related to how in your 20s you should be very much focusing on your self-development and self-growth. And it kind of goes with the theme of focusing just on work, so that's why it's here. So whenever I'm done with an idea, I just quickly check it off from my list, signifying that it's done. And the list is very short for now because I have just refreshed it and deleted my older one because most of the ideas in that list were almost done. And now coming to my hobbies section in which the first page is cafes I want to visit. So. I love cafes and whenever I come across a good one, whether it's online or if I visit somewhere and I have seen a good cafe, I just add it to my list of cafes I want to visit. And also the columns in this table here are super super important, which we're going to talk about in just a few seconds. But let's take a look at the cover first, which is really beautiful. I got this from Pinterest and if you guys want, then I will link it in the description box below in case you want it for yourself. And also this page has been with me since day one of using Notion, so it's like that important to me. So the first column of the table here signifies that in which district the cafe is, and then the name of the cafe, and then what are the categories of the cafe, in which section it is good in, like the food, the coffee, the ambience, and have I visited this cafe or not, or does it deliver to my house, and then the timing of the cafe, the bonus point, like what is so special about that particular cafe and then the directions in which i just put the link of their google listing so that in case i want to navigate it i can just tap on it and it will be done so this page is like perfect for people who are cafe lovers or coffee lovers the next page in the hobbies section is about books which is again very minimalistic and it's just a record of the books that I'm going to read throughout the year. It has columns such as name of the book, is it fiction or non-fiction, the author of the book, the genre of the book, and it has a list of various genres to choose from and I can add an extra genre anytime I want, the date I finished reading it, the rating that I give to that book, 
and the reading status of the book like i am currently reading it or it's still in my tbr i need to modify the options of this column a little bit and i'm going to do it as soon as possible also the icon of this page is really simple and to the point a pink book that's it i got it from jiffy.com and i think that it's really really cute and now moving on to the next section of the page which is finances the first page on this section is called subscription tracker which is a live sorting page if you are someone with a lot of active subscriptions first thing this page divides the subscriptions into various categories entertainment music business education shopping app store and this is the category that i created by myself because i have a lot of active subscriptions on app store so i needed to keep track of them and also in the active subscriptions tab we have subscriptions divided in a table on the basis of their category for example entertainment has its own table music has its own table app store has its own and the columns are also very smart you just have to tell this table the price of your subscription and it will just calculate everything on the basis of that information for example if you have a monthly subscription the table will calculate the annual cost of that app or that subscription for you you can put in the renewal date and it will tell you the next renewal date and once you put the monthly cost it will tell you the yearly cost which makes you realize that how much you are actually paying for that particular subscription like is it really worth it or not and also if you have stopped any subscriptions which are not really active you have a different tab in this table for that which makes the grasping of information much easier for your brain and if you go to the all section then the subscriptions will be divided into categories active and cancelled so if you want to look at your table that way then this page can do that and now moving on to the next page of this section which is budget planning so guys while i was editing this video i realized that i never took shot of the budget planning page so i'm screen recording for you all so you guys can see it we will be back to the video once this introduction of the page ends so this page is a super important part of my daily life because i log every expense that i do in here there is this name of the expense in the table and then we have a column for the amount that is expended and then we have the category of the expense and we have different categories already listed here which is food personal entertainment work and home if you want to add a new category that is super easy to do you can do that and then we have the date of the expense and then how did i pay for it which card did i use or did i pay in cash that sort of stuff and then we have this yellow box at the end of the page where we can add notes in case we need to take money or give money back to someone i also like the icon of this page it's a super cute gold credit card or debit card i never really changed it it's like that from day one and also we can view this page according to the category of the expense so just in case you need to see what are the expenses made in that particular category so it's a super simple but it's a super useful page and now getting back to our video the next section on my notion is called headspace and it has only one page as of now it's called simple notebook and it is what it says it is an actual simple notebook it has various notes for example this one is called shopping websites i like so whenever i come across a website where i like a product i make a note of it here so whenever I want to have access to it back again, I just visit my simple notebook and I can just see which one was that website which I really liked a month back or maybe a few days back. So it makes things easier. And then the next section is called miscellaneous, which has all the templates and all the pages which I ever liked on Notion. I never delete pages completely from my Notion because you never know if you want any page back on a Notion again. And in that case, I have a template or a copy, you can say, of every page I have used ever. And as I promised, I have this goals page right here, which I created a copy of. So this page is going to be super useful for you if you like to have goals. You can view this table two ways. One is the status of your goal, that is to do, doing, done. And then is the due date of your goal. Does it belong to quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, or quarter four? So I'm going to create a new goal so you guys can see how this table actually works. 
So for example, one of the goals for you this year is that you want to move to US. Then you have to decide the status of your goal. Is it in the to-do section, done or the doing section? Since it's in the to-do section, you will decide that and then you have to put the tax. Is it life skills, travel, finance, health, work, fun? What is it related to? And then you have to put the due date of the goal. You have to decide that how long do you think it's going to take for you to fulfill that goal. Since I think it belongs in the quarter four, so it will reflect there. And in case if you have not decided that when do you think, then when that goal will be completed, it will go in the no category section. So before I finish this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the icon and the cover page of my setup. I got the icon from the Pinterest and I created the cover page by myself on Canva. And I got this clock widget from Indify and this calm down widget is created by myself too on Canva. So if you guys want these pictures, I will link them on my Pinterest. Let me know in the comment section below. I will be very happy to do that. So guys, that was it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below how did you guys like it and which page was your favorite. And I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye!